One of the major challenges that we see organizations um, have is the lack of consistency of the branding across all their marketing material. So at Visme, we've solved this problem by creating what's called a brand kit. And what the way you access that is on the bottom left here, and where you click my brand, now this is accessible only by the administrator or the designer that you give access to. And in this area, you're able to set um, the topography, your colors, your templates, set the logo for your published content, and even insert brand links that will set as act as uh, preset links in your content. So I'm going to walk through each of these and show you how it works. Number one is topography. Now, Visme has over 120 fonts in its library, but you may decide as a brand that you have very strict guidelines. So what you can do is to upload your own fonts, and you can even decide to hide our own fonts. Here's how it works. So here I've got a couple of different fonts. These are a brand fonts for um, a specific company. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. In this case, Roboto and this font called Montserrat are fonts that I want to add to the brand library. And these can be TTF uh, files and all you can do is just literally drag and drop them or click the upload your own fonts here. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to do the Roboto regular. So I'll add that. And if you notice, immediately it uploads the font and it shows me a preview of it. I'm going to go ahead and also add the Monster at Regular. And also I'm going to go ahead and add the Monster at Bold. Now notice you can also um, grab more than one and just drag and drop them into um, the um, panel. So what I just did was set upload four different fonts here. Now what I can do is there's a preview here so I can designate this font as the header. So if you notice it shows me a preview and also here Roboto is already a default font so I don't have to do anything but perhaps I want to go Roboto medium so I can set that as the body. So this allows me in the future to be able to drag and drop content and these will act as the main header and the default text. So the other part is um, if I want to allow my team um, to be able to uh, use all Visme fonts or not. And this will allow me to be able to designate my team to be able to um, view or not view all the fonts in our library. So for example here, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and the fonts that I just added. So if I was a user under this team account, I've just designated fonts for uh, my team. So I'm going to go over here and if you notice in the drop down I just basically locked I've got these fonts that are the default fonts for my brand and therefore they will show at the top and if I had turned off my other fonts none of these other fonts from Visme would actually show in there. And the next thing is the colors. So in colors what you can do is designate your own um, color palette. And so if I look over here right now um, the font colors that this is a project that I've opened and it's showing me all the different colors. Um, it's even showing me theme colors which is accessible here. It's showing me um, the different colors that are in the library. So what I'm going to do is go here and let's just go ahead and delete the font, the, the colors, and just add a new color palette. So the way I can add a new color palette is to simply go in and you just need the um, name of or the hexacolor designation of your font. So you can just grab it here of your colors. So I'll just go ahead and add a couple of these font colors here. So there's one. And I can basically repeat the process um, over again as needed to get the uh, colors that I want to get. So I'll just go ahead and add another couple right now. And you can go up to uh, six different uh, colors. So I'll go ahead and just add one more for now for the sake of the testing. Okay, so you can go up to six colors and what you can also do is to select the background color for your published content. So I'm going to set these and show you in a moment. Right now it's set to dark. I'm going to go and set it to light. You can also do your own custom colors if you want to designate that. So when you publish content and you share it with others, the actual background by default will be the color that you want. I'm going to set that to uh, light at the moment. Next is the templates. So when you create content in Visme, 
um, we have hundreds of different templates that is uh, loaded in front of the user. But what we can also do is to add your own content in the templates. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and add a few uh, projects, existing projects as templates. So basically, if you've created any design before, presentation, infographic, or whatever it's going to be, you can designate that here. So I'm going to just go ahead and search for templates. These are from our existing library. And by simply clicking these, I can add them into my library. So this is how it is right now. If I go in and create a new project, I can see this is the same thing for me and all my users. I can see that there's presentations, infographics, and it contains all the VisMe templates. And there's hundreds and hundreds of them all across the board. But perhaps you want to designate your own as your own template. So when your team logs in or you log in the future, you want to use an existing project as a template. So the way you do that is you go to the templates and you search for any of your existing projects. In this case, I went ahead and just um, I'm going to add this project in there, and I'm going to add this one, and I'm going to search for another one. There's another one that has the title of education, so I want to add this. And notice that some of these are taller and so on. That's just because this is a presentation, this is an infographic, and it automatically knows uh, which category to apply it to. And I'll go ahead and search for this one, and I will add that as well. The other thing I want to do is to go down here and decide that do I want my team to create all these different types of content? Perhaps I don't want them to do custom dimensions, and I don't want them to do social graphics and banners. I only want them to create presentations and infographics. So the next time the user goes in and goes to create a project, if you notice, it only gives me presentations and infographics. So it will not allow me to create um, everything, and but I can still see all the um, Project. So this is the one I added in. I can see all the VisMe templates, but perhaps you want to establish additional restrictions. So all you do is go down here and you can turn off to allow my team to use VisMe templates. So if I turn this off, then in the future, when they go to create their own um, templates, they're only going to see the templates that you've designated for them. If they go in under infographics, they'll only see your brand templates. So this allows you to have control over the type of content that your audience can, that your visit, uh, your users can actually create. Now, the next thing is, of course, the logo. Under the logo, this is where you can set the, uh, you can upload the logo of your brand, and that is what is going to show instead of the VisMe branding. So let me show you an example. This right now is another project that I've loaded, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the publish page. If I go to the publish page, it's going to contain the VisMe logo. So if you look down here, I can see the VisMe logo. And the background, I'd set it as a light. And I want to actually hide that because I have certain brand restrictions at a company. And we want to only have our logo uh, to show there and to hide these. So it's pretty easy the way you do that. Here's how it works. So I'm going to go in to back to the um, logos area. And I will go ahead and upload our own uh, brand logo. And so this can be a GIF, this can be um, a JPEG, or it can be, of course, a transparent uh, PNG. So in this case, here's the logo, and it's a PNG format. So I can go ahead and drag and drop it. Or what I can do is just to go to add the logo, I can go in and locate it and basically upload the logo. So when I add the logo, it is now uploaded, and I can decide if I want it to be left, center, or right justified on top of the page. So I'm going to make it center, and also I want to go back to the colors because it looks better on a dark background, and I'm going to set that to dark. So here's what happens now. When I go in and refresh this page, so the next time somebody visits or the next time you publish a project, it will automatically reflect your um, branding. So the way that works is it's going to um, reflect the latest branding that I have in place. Now the other part that you can do is to set your brand links. So on the brand links, what I can do is go in and assign links for my content. So here's an example. If I'm inside a uh, project and if I want to assign links to anything, so here for example what I want to do is I want to link this car 
and I go to the links corner and I want to uh, link it to let's say um, a social media and what it does is right now by default you know it's going to take my Facebook and give it the uh, VisMe because that is what is the default so what you can do is in the branding go and apply your own um, URL so I will go ahead and add this and by applying this and the next time one of my users goes to create a project then they will be able to go and assign a link that will be the default of that link so example I'm gonna go back to the car and I will go here and I can go to the link social media and when I go to Facebook and if I type anything and you see there it is it gives me this URL so that I don't have to remember it you can assign all your default URLs and that is what your audience is going to see uh, in the future when the content is presented uh, and then of course I showed you about the colors I created default colors and then here I'm gonna turn off so that my team cannot select their own colors and also I can um, turn this off so allow my team to select their own background colors that is off and the colors is default and therefore I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this so that it reloads the latest settings in the editor and imagine if this was one of your team members or yourself the next time you go in then if you were to go in and want to assign a color over here you only see your brand colors and of course if I added up to six colors those would be the brand so only the white black transparent and the uh, brand colors are there that way you are heavily brand restricted and you cannot your uh, team members and colleagues cannot just go in randomly picking whatever color they want and this allows you uh, to to restrict the colors within your brand and organization to be exactly what you want them to be so there you have it uh, that's the brand kit and uh, you can go ahead and manage it from the my brand area you can go back anytime and lift restrictions add additional fonts and adjust it as needed